upon a lofty throne, I saw a man seated, whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison. Behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. It may not look, at, look like it yet, but we have returned to ordinary time. And so let us be gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May God's mercy and peace be with each of you. As we begin our prayer and worship, let us pause for a moment, remembering God's forgiveness and mercy and generosity to us. and praying that we will show that to others. We say, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Attend to the prayers of your people with heavenly, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he spoke to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things and through whom he created the universe, who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you? Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Let all his angels worship him. Let all his angels worship him. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Let all his angels worship him. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Let all his angels worship him. Let all his angels worship him. 
Because you, O Lord, are the Most High over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. Let all his angels worship him. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As Jesus passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed Jesus. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They, too, were in a boat mending their nets. Then Jesus called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired men, and followed Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. I always find it a little amusing that the, uh, the gospel, as it's presented to us, talks about Andrew and Simon casting their nets into the sea, and then reminds us that they were fishermen, if, as if we haven't gathered that, huh, by the net casting. Somehow I, I, I don't, uh, I think there's probably some pieces of this story that, um, that are left out, because we, uh, we see Jesus walking along and calling these disciples, and they immediately follow him. <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> what about, what kind of discernment did they go through uh, before they uh, jumped to follow Jesus? What, uh, what had they seen or heard from him in uh, previous days that would uh, cause them so immediately follow him? What was there about his his personage, the way he presented himself, um, the way he invited them, that caused them to immediately jump up and abandon everything and follow them, follow Jesus. So there must be something going on there that we're just not told of and, <clears throat> and that we are to discern within our own lives. What is it that calls us uh, to follow Jesus? <clears throat> and how often do we um, take the time to examine, now why, why am I following this person? Why, why do we choose the name Christian? Um, sometimes we, uh, we kind of fall into this habit and this way of life, and um, we may not be thinking, think about it very often, about what is it that calls me? So it's a good thing for us to uh, take to prayer on this day that we uh, hear of the calling of the disciples to follow Jesus. Uh, some reflection sometime during the day. What, what causes me to follow the Lord, to believe in the gospel that Jesus preached? Let us pray. <clears throat> Gracious and holy God, we ask that you send your spirit deep into our lives. As we uh, pause uh, throughout this day to examine and to 
uh, to voice for ourselves why it is that we follow the way of Jesus. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may be examples to others, that they may uh, want to inquire about what it is that guides our lives. We pray. We pray for our nation. We're at a critical time in our nation's history. We pray for peace and for a peaceful and orderly transition of executive power in the coming weeks. We pray. We pray for all those who have been led astray by the lies and falsehoods and faults. Um, uh, conspiracy theories that others have perpetrated, we pray. <clears throat> now let us pause to uh, pause for a moment to reflect on those prayers that we hold in silence. For these things we pray. We pray for all those who are ill and those who uh, are experiencing uh, medical procedures this day or, or those recovering, we pray. For Hannah Rotha and for all that we promise to hold in our prayers this day, we pray. For gracious God, hear these prayers of your people and strengthen us in holiness, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our offering may be acceptable to God the Almighty. O oh Lord, may your people's offerings find favor with you, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain for them all that they need through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us a share in his riches. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of the cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who follow him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with the angels and the saints and the whole company of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, is without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O oh Lord, you are indeed holy. You are the source of all holiness. And we ask you to make holy these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> At the time he was betrayed and 
entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Once again, he gave you thanks and giving it to his disciples. He said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and St. Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us, <clears throat> let us now pray those words that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we might be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look then not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. <clears throat> May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each, with each other some sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. <clears throat> we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant those you have renewed with your sacraments that they may serve you with pleasing lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> And may the blessing of God come upon you and remain with you always, the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Well, maybe there's not enough you can break them apart, but it was yeah. totally empty. Yeah.